You can't assess the health of a coolant sample just by looking at it. The quality of a coolant in an engine can deteriorate over time due to factors like engine health or coolant dilution. So regular testing is essential to ensure optimum coolant condition. When it comes to coolant, FleetGuard products are life of engine coolants, but testing at every lube oil service may identify issues that can be rectified with coolant maintenance before they become problems requiring expensive repair. The products that we're going to use in this demonstration are the FleetGuard Fluid Vacuum Pump, part number CC2802, which can be used to obtain coolant samples for testing. This simple tool can also be used to extract other fluid samples for analysis, although they're not covered in this training. FleetGuard 4-way test strips are part number CC8997, and they're specifically for testing ES Complete Oat and Fleet Cool Oat coolants, as they don't contain nitrite. There are two sets of test strips used in the 4-way test. It's important to use personal protective equipment in the workshop environment. Safety shoes, gloves and safety glasses are essential. Always seek guidance from the health and safety team or site leader before undertaking any work. There are several ways in which a coolant sample can be obtained, but it's important that the engine is fully cooled down and at ambient temperature before taking a sample. One method to obtain a sample is by opening a petcock on the engine to drain off a small amount for testing. You can use the Fleet Guard vacuum pump to draw a coolant sample from the radiator. Ensure that the engine is fully cooled down and at ambient temperature before removing the radiator cap. Assemble the pump using the instructions and then use the pump to draw out the coolant. Once you have your sample, coolant testing can then be conducted. This test checks four different conditions of the coolant using two different test strips. The first test uses a test strip with three pads. The first pad measures molybdate, the middle measures nitrite, and the final pad measures freeze point. Note that in the four-way kit, there's a small container of reagent that is used for the molybdate pad. The second test strip in the kit measures the pH value of the coolant. When the test strips are dipped in the coolant, they will change colour. The final colour of each of the pads will be compared to the reference table on the bottle or packaging, and the colour will determine the result. As the test is time dependent, preparation is key to getting a good result. A good way of preparing is to write molybdate, nitrite and freeze point on a notebook next to where you're using the test strips so that you can note down the results. You can also do the same for pH. First, confirm the test strips are in date. Remove an individual test strip from the bottle and close the lid straight away. It's important to avoid touching any of the chemical pads as this could cause interference with the testing. Dip the test strip all the way into the coolant for about three seconds and then shake the test strip horizontally three or four times to remove any excess coolant. Place the strip on a non-porous surface with the test pads facing up. Add one drop of dilute acid reagent to the molybdate pad before quickly starting your timer and allowing 45 seconds to pass before checking the results. Once the 45 seconds have passed, we'll need to read and record the results in the following 30 seconds, so you do need to act quickly. The first pad indicates molybdate. Find the colour on the table that best matches the pad and record the result. For this example, the best match is 300. The middle pad indicates nitrite. Note down any variation to the colour indicated on the bottle. In this case, the result is zero. Finally, to check the freeze point, Hold the last test pad against the freeze point scale on the bottle. The result here is 50%. Follow the same process for testing pH and note down the result. Once the test is complete, we can move on to interpreting the results. The freeze point is the most self-explanatory scale on the card. This scale provides an estimation of the percentage glycol in the coolant and the associated freeze point protection provided by the coolant. Generally, the glycol concentration should be 50%. If it's significantly lower than 50%, the cooling system will need to be partly drained and fresh coolant added. If the results show coolant to be significantly over 50% glycol, then the cooling system will need to be drained and topped up with demineralized water. When interpreting the results of the nitrite pad, a colour change indicates mixing of coolants. Customers should closely monitor top-up practices to avoid coolant contamination. When looking at the molybdate results, if the result obtained is greater than 200 ppm, 
then no action is required. If the result is between 150 to 200 ppm, then the customer should drain one third of the total coolant capacity and refill with new fresh coolant. If the result obtained is less than 150 ppm, then the customer should drain half of the total coolant capacity and refill with new fresh coolant. If the pH falls outside of the acceptable range, the customer should immediately drain the cooling system and replace with new coolant. The customer is also recommended to check the overall engine condition when pH drops to ensure that overheating or combustion gas leaks are not occurring. To ensure that coolant testing is accurate and gives reliable results, here's some further guidelines. Test strips can't be reused, they're designed for a single test before disposal. Store test strips in a cool, dry location, not in direct sunlight. It's recommended to test coolant at every oil change, but ensure that the engine is fully cooled down before conducting a coolant test. Test strips should always be shaken horizontally and not vertically, and always store the bottles with the lid tightly closed when not in use. When customers choose FleetGuard coolant products to protect their engines, they're investing in coolants that are designed with the engine in mind. No other brand of coolant is part of an engine manufacturer. Making customers aware of the benefit of regular coolant testing means that they're getting the best value from their coolants and ensuring that coolant quality is maintained to maximise the life of the coolant, the cooling system and the engine.